Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over exporting our project in Persona Studio 1.4. So far in the series we've looked at how to record and edit audio in MIDI, all the mixing controls available, and the automation tools. This is the last step in working with Studio 1, and obviously there's a lot more that can be done with this program, but so far we've covered all the basics to get started. Before continuing, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notifications, that way you'll know when all our new videos are released. At this point, we're assuming you have an entire song recorded, edited, and mixed sounding exactly how you want it in Studio One, and you're looking to get a file exported so that you can save it and share it with others. Before we can export, we need to select the time range that we'll actually be exporting. When we started this project, we set the entire length of it to 5 minutes, but since that has changed, we need to adjust the markers. There's a marker button on the left side just above the tracks panel. We'll see the default start and end markers pop up. Drag the end marker to the end of the song. The start marker can stay at the beginning, or you can move it in slightly if there's noise or empty time at the beginning of the song. To export, start by going to the song menu at the top and select export mix down. This exports the entire song. At the top left, select a folder to save the file in and type in a file name in the box below. The format can be set as a WAV file, which is an uncompressed audio file that will retain all the quality without the compression that we would get from an MP3. The standard format for exporting a file is 16-bit as the resolution and 44.1 kHz for the sample rate, even though you may be using higher settings while recording the song. For the export range, the usual thing we'll select is the between song start end marker and that's why we just set up the markers. We will export the file with everything that happens between this point and ignore everything else. We'll see when we do this that the duration changes to the entire length of time between the markers. That's how long our song is and how long the final file will be when we export it. At the bottom, we'll be keeping the output as main and not checking off mono since it's a stereo output. You can bypass the master effects if you're using mastering tools and want to disable that in the export, or you can export with the plugins on the master channel. We won't use real-time processing. We don't really need to change any of the other settings. Another way we can export is by exporting stems. That means we can export certain parts of the song at once, such as just the drums, just the vocals, or just the guitars. Sometimes this is done for more control during mastering later on. The overall process is the same, except that on the left we can select what tracks are included in the stem. We don't want to keep the master channel for this, but we would select a few audio tracks at once, or a few instrument tracks. Just be careful when doing this that all the exports are using the same export range so all the files line up after. Once done, press export and the file will be created. Now you can go to where the file is saved on the computer, listen back to it, or share it with others. Of course if you make changes to the project later on, you can re-export a new version of the file. Thanks for checking out this video and this series on Persona Studio 1.4. If this video and series helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for social media links to see all our new content.